Yeah, we um, we found like got some seeds for snake cord and got some soil. And we had to put some holes in the cups and we got some nuts that we got that we that we took home and that was, and he made us some cookies and that was pretty much all we did other than look at plants and uh, mosquito fish at the at Mr. Robinson's garden. My son is a uh, a sponge when it comes to information and these type of camps uh, he absolutely loves, enjoys. I think I really heard, you know, I always hear about the environment and, and, and the changes, you know, uh, in the environment, but I never really understood what that meant until I, I went to Mr. Robinson's garden. My name is uh, Charles Robinson. I'm retired from the San Diego Fire Department. I retired in 1980 after 30 years of service. And I, I just uh, enjoy my, my hobby here, which is raising plants. So I'm a master gardener. I joined the master gardeners in 1983, and I was in their first class. Uh, some people have asked me about what my expertise is. And that's as close as being an expert as anything. I really enjoy uh, staghorn ferns, and we go and talk about their, how to propagate them. We, all the neighbors come by, and sometimes they, they look, and they, they don't want to invade my place, but then they'll, they'll ask if they can come by and see what's here. And so, and they bring their kids in every year, and we do the tour. We can just go all around, and we talk about plants. Anytime they want to ask me a question, well, I try to answer it. And if they don't ask the question, I'll show them the difference in plants. When I bring the kids up here, we bring them out and they set them out here in the patio and we give them a little cookie and a little cup with some punch in it and it's a little styrofoam cup. And then after they get through drinking their cup, I tell them, let me have the cup and I'll punch a hole in it and I'll have a, uh, a, a little box with some potting mix on it and I'll tell them to put this potting mix in here and then get some seeds and I'll have a different variety of seeds there and they'll all select a seed and they'll put it in their pot and then take it back to their class and then they'll see whether it'll grow or not and I don't know what it'll have on them but it might be they might be hooked just like I'm hooked with planting seeds and, and taking care of plants yeah I, I, I'm, I'm real interested in what young people think about plants I, I, I know the enjoyment that I get out of them and I also am concerned and, and know about the the effect that it has on the the world itself and, and the rainforest and all those things, they're, they're all connected and, and uh, we would be in a pretty bad position if we didn't have plants. And I think that if, when we begin to learn about plants, well, we begin to uh, recognize the importance of them in our environment. And Mr. Robinson is one of those people that um, has this marvelous way of talking and teaching at the same time. And you're not, you really don't know that you're learning, but you're picking up all these great things. I liked that we got to go to Mr. Robinson's garden to look at all the different plants and learn about new plants. I liked, I liked most about, about gardening is what is that I get to like watch them grow and like possibly with certain plants they I can get some food and that's helpful. And during that time frame, uh, Ben, I'm sure, absorbed every bit of information about what Mr. Robson does, how he how he farms. Uh, uh, this type of camp, this, this summer camp, uh, is beneficial to uh, the Marine Corps families and the Marine Corps itself as it helps provide a, a structured, positive structured outlet for young kids to go and learn during the summer, um, meet friends, and learn something new.